And funny enough, when I visit potential sponsors and I'm talking about the decathlon, yeah, okay, what is that? And uh, blah, 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 blah. But, but when I'm talking about the life in the ice channel, people's ears, they, go, they, they, they grow 10 times as big as when we're talking about uh, a decathlete in track and field. So again, it has proven that, that doing a sports concept which everybody cannot relate to is actually just an enormous great story. Yeah. So, so, so now we develop a new, we transformed the storytelling from previous project now into story selling. So a whole commercial uh, process now is built upon uh, story selling. So we, 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 we lay out the possibilities to work together with us. But instead of when I was uh, like I did when I was a sales rep, so now are you going to help write down the on the order here? We lay out uh, opportunities for as many people as possible and they must do the shark bite themselves. I want them to buy instead of us to sell. And that's a totally extremely big mind shift for a for a former sales rep uh, like I have been it in my life. But that's kind of the modern way of selling, isn't it? Yes, 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 it is. I know that, but mm. but still, don't forget, I've uh, I've I ran this way around in the circus arena for uh, for thirty years of selling life, <laughs> and this is the other way around. So it it's not easy for me, yeah. yeah. So it's not it's it's much easier for me to write a link link in post saying, hey, I need you. You need to buy some sponsorships. Then yeah. in, in instead of just doing content marketing and said blah 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 blah, yeah. you know. So it's it's more easy for me to still to do this way around in the circus mm-hmm. arena. But I will. It's a good process for me as well. And and then I guess it's about finding that value proposition, and and yours is the story and not necessarily the medal or the uh the result our, 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 ours is 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 now to do something which nobody else does we have we can proudly say that we have the smallest uh, national team in denmark because there's only one athlete and you have experienced that situations uh, yourself yes being, the, being <laughs> just one and i think that that is just a great story if you can frame it right if you can say, I value that there are a lot of people who want to go in one direction. Mm-hmm. It's very important for our country. But it's also important for our country that there is just one out of 100 or even maybe 1,000 who wants to go in the other direction. The question is, from whom can the Danish companies learn the most? Mm-hmm. The 99 going in one direction or the one who dares to go in the other one? I know I know the answer to that. Yeah. But I also, I also know that it takes a top-level decision to, to sponsor a juvenile of 16 years of age who is uh, who is supported by his parents uh, because else he cannot do it. Yeah, it, yeah. It, 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 I know the decision making is not easy and most probably we will face a situation. We have now 10, 12 sponsors now and we need 20. Most probably it, we, we will end up with a sponsor portfolio, most probably of almost only entrepreneurs or or sponsorship decisions take on a top management level because it's too risky taking such a such a decision if you are let's say just a marketing manager who has to have assigned every decision yeah, yeah. so this is but a it's top also management about decision. Re- your story being relatable and it's much more relatable to an entrepreneur that yes, it because yeah. you yeah. he's an entrepreneurial athlete <laughs> yeah he is yeah. and and uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so he, he he will have lots of lessons and inspiration to give to an entrepreneur that yeah. might not they might, might fall flat in in a big corporation. Exactly. They, so they, they is, might not even understand that journey that he's on. <laughs> no, 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 he doesn't, and and that's why he can only do it because we have chosen to to support him in this way. He knows that we know that this can this cannot be. We have no federation. We are the federation ourselves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And but 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 as to the fact that we are in, I think, third or fourth generation in our family, in both sides of the family, we are entrepreneurs. So this is this is being entrepreneurs sounds sounds stupid. Yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah, yeah. that's that that's <laughs> that's working with effortless ease for us. Yeah. yeah. Understanding that we cannot define the future. We cannot control the future. Everything about the future is insecure is something which motivates us and gives us a lot of energy instead of the opposite yeah so so it's 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 just finding together with the people who can re- relate to that this is normal way of thinking for us 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. And but of course, problem is it take, that that means we need some space. Yeah. Because we, we think in a different way and 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 and, and not and not in every environment uh, is is uh, capable of of uh, including uh, people with an entrepreneurial mindset. Mm -hmm. So we have to we have to we have to find the people around us who can support us and, and with whom we can work together with this. And there we can feel that new wins, uh, the new wins in, in Danish sport environment, because we can feel there is much more openness in Danish elite sports towards new sport concepts. Yeah. So creativity, trying something new, which has not done before is, is looked at with a different, different uh, openness, uh, like uh, in, uh, as in for 10 or 15 years ago. So that motivates me a lot. Mm -hmm.